This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. So I'm Srinivas. As part of this video, I want to present regarding the custom visualization called advanced card. We have a normal card visualization, which is a default one, which is going to display an aggregated value as part of that visual. And this advanced card having some advanced features. Let's understand what are the different features that it has than our default card visualization. So here data field is there. We can add the data field, which is going to represent a value like a normal card. Tooltip, if you want to display any value as a tooltip, you can use it. Condition field, if you want to add any condition, like if you want to apply any condition on this value, you can use that field over here. I'm just specifying the number of transactions as part of a condition field. So count of transactions. And you can add a prefix and you can add a suffix post fix which is nothing but total amount I added and now so general it is similar to a default visualization and a data label you can enable a data label and you can increase the size based on your need then after the prefix label if you enable it the prefix will be displayed and with what color you want to represent and what is the space between the prefix and the value you can specify over here and what is the font size similarly the post fix you can enable and you can specify the starting space and you can increase you can specify that font size over here what font size if you want to provide you can specify then after the fill fill refers to background color. If you want to fill with some color, you can fill it. So I just specified. I just specified some color, and then after stroke, stroke represents the border. With what border we want to provide a green border? I specified. What is the width of it? You can specify. And here, the corner radius. So I'm specifying a 40. And by default, all are disabled. If you want to enable, you can enable it. A default visualization has up to 30 size. And if you want to increase more, it will not be possible. But here, you can customize based on your need. I can specify 50. 50 and I can specify it. So bottom right I'm enabled. Top left inward. If you want to provide a reverse direction, you can specify like this. So based on your need, you can enable these options. Now So these are the options that we have for a border. Along with that, you have an option called condition. Condition is nothing but you provide a input, which is nothing but a transaction ID. With respect to this value, we can provide a condition. And you can specify how many conditions that you want. I want to, just two conditions. And you want to apply this one for a data label? Yes. And for a category label? And a prefix label? Suffix label? I am going to apply this condition for everywhere. And if the value is greater than 300, I want to display the value is greater than 300. I want to display the value as green and otherwise the background value as and at the same time the background value as another color. 
if the value e is greater than 300 and if the value is lesser than less than 300 value greater than or equals to and it is less than 300 i want to display in a red color with a white background with a white background remaining tooltip if you want to enable it tooltip you can enable it remaining all fields are similar to a default card now i have the number of transactions which are nothing but like almost 500 plus i have a 500 transactions are there so which are greater than the 300 it is displaying this one and if i select any slicer a city specific transactions whenever we select that value is a 48 which is lesser than a 300 it is displaying this one so based on the condition these values are going to change and you can change that uh, conditional formatting for a value or a label or a prefix or a suffix whatever you want you can configure it so these are the features that we have for advanced card so when compared to a normal card you can add a multiple values over here at the same time you can apply a background uh, color which is not available for a normal card normal card you can apply a conditional formatting for only value you cannot do it for a background background of that card here you can do it and this can be used in a scenario like where you need to represent mtd value ytd you can use this one instead of using a three visuals so that's it regarding a advanced card let me know if you have any questions on top of it this conference will now be recorded